Radio broadcast, coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio. Also, the Sunday radio broadcast is available on the mix on Tuesdays, and we are going to start our first bro- our first uh, first broadcast here with um, Red Rain. Um, Sam joins us from Red Rain. He joins us here on the telephone, and um, so Sam, tell me and John and Jay a little bit about your band. So we are a band out of Richmond, Virginia. We are a four-piece band. Started in 2013 and worked our way up to try to, uh, to get on this uh, national uh, level that we've been fighting for, and so far we've been doing pretty good with that. So, uh, you guys, have, you guys have got a uh, a great group here. Uh, t- t- tell us about some of the members in the band, and uh, just tell us all about the band here, because we we don't know anything about you guys. Tell us all about you. Okay. So we are, a, like I said, a four-piece out of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, the singer and I have been together uh, in and out of bands since uh, 1999. Uh, his name is Bubba McMichael, uh, great singer, guitar player. Uh, going in through in and out of bands, we decided to do just an all-original band, uh, do all original music and put it out there. Along the way, we brought in our bass player, Larry Moore. Um, Larry was actually in a band in Richmond uh, called White Heat, who later turned into Firehouse, and um, kept going through the process. And then we found our fourth member, Stevie Shredder, the guitarist, uh, rid- uh, I'm sorry, lead guitar player and backup singer. And once we started writing our music, we were lucky enough to find uh, Chip Ruggieri of Chipster PR, signed with him. Uh, he turned us on to uh, a producer. We recorded a five-song EP, which is out. It's a self-titled uh, EP called Red Ring, and from that point on, we've been out supporting it with uh, with major um, national acts. We've got uh, Red Rain with us today. They join us live here in a broadcast, and uh, so how do we find you guys on social media, websites, all these things? Sure. So the music is on, uh, I'm assuming, every downloadable music site, but I know uh, Google Play, Amazon, uh, Apple, um, Spotify, which is a really good place to find us. Uh, also, uh, we uh, you can find us on Facebook at Red Rain. And that's R E D R E I G N band, um, and you can find us on Facebook. That is our website as well, RedRainBand.com. We also have a store, so if you're looking for the uh, EP to to buy and listen to, we have that. And uh, if you look on the internet of Red Rain Band, we're all over the place. We have a couple music videos out, so we're, we're accessible. Red Rain with us today. Uh, Jay, I'm going to start with you. Do you have any questions for Sam while we've got him? Oh, I love their cover photo on their uh, Facebook fan page. How did you come up with the idea of, is that a tornado or windstorm or sandstorm? So, <laughs> that is, uh, it is a sort of a little bit of both. It's a little, it's a little bit of a windstorm with a sandstorm and it's, representing um, at the time when we were coming out, sort of uh, breaking out and a new, you know, basically the, the old cliche of a new storm is coming and, and we felt that we were the new storm. Um, so uh, whoever, so our artist who, um, who came up with that album concept, that was really, uh, really his concept. He nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too. We had a couple ideas, but uh, this one's the one that really uh, stuck with everybody. We all agreed on, and and, um, and it's worked well for us. Thank you. Red Rain joins us today, and uh, you can get their website, redrainband.com. That's redrainband.com. Jay, jump in there. Oh, I was just going to say, why did you think that you were the, the new storm coming to town, the new, the new kids on the block? Why, what makes you different from other bands? Um, you know, uh, you know, every band's unique in their own way. I think one, one thing that, uh, I don't know if separates us or, or makes us proud, but you know, we, we, um, we, we obviously write the music that, um, that, that, that we, obviously we come up with music that we like and, and we, we enjoy playing. Uh, I feel like, uh, not only do you come up with some that you have to come up with your own music, it has to be sort of an attitude, uh, and you really have to enjoy what you play. I, I think that comes across live very well, and all three of those really fit uh, every member of this band. We're, we we get along well. We uh, we're all in it for the same cause. 
we, you know, when we're on stage, um, you know, we just enjoy playing with each other and we enjoy playing in front of people. I, again, I think that comes across. I, I, as far as a new storm, I, I don't know these days of music. I kind of thought differently. I thought, hey, here comes a new band with new music. But as I learn more, you just have to keep plugging away. So hopefully this storm will keep keep brewing and brewing till it, till it breaks out all over the place. Now, did you guys all play instruments in high school and elementary, or how did you come about in choosing these? Um, so I, you know, I, I, I don't know if I can speak to the other guys. I, I know those guys have been playing uh, most of their lives, but uh, for me, I actually started playing drums later in life. I didn't really start playing drums until I was 14. Um, I am the drummer of the band, by the way. Uh, and I... Uh, was started taking lessons, and then for me, I'm, I'm dyslexic, so trying to read music and keep up with that, I just unfortunately couldn't do it and got bored, so I started playing by ear and started playing covers by ear and listening and practicing, and then at some point in time, uh, I just decided to myself, playing covers is great, if you know, but I wanted to do, I wanted to go the original route, and you know, that's a hard thing to find is to find other guys that really want to go that route and push it as far as we did. Uh, I know Bub has been playing guitar since he was in uh, middle school. I don't really know much about Stevie and Larry uh, because, uh, you know, I didn't grow up with them, but uh, I know that they've been playing since they were young. John had a question. Okay. I was just kind of asking because I'm seeing who you've toured with and done some shows with. Would you guys mm -hmm. consider your – I mean, what would you guys consider your motif of your music? Because, like, Quiet Riot's kind of an 80s, 90s rock. I mean, kind of a little bit heavier of a rock when they first started out, but it's been mellowed out by other bands, and Tesla was a little bit heavier, but not, like, super heavy, but they had a good rocking sound to them. Would you guys consider yourselves along that genre, or would you consider it a little bit different? Uh, you know... So, so I get asked that question quite a bit, and the, and the only way I feel like I can answer this question is um, we do have an 80s flair to it. I mean, there, there is an 80s sort of flair because we all grew up on that, you know, and, I, and again, I tell everybody, um, you know, I'm a Van Halen fan. I'm a David Lee Roth Van Halen fan, so listening to that all my life, I'm sure, you know, in some of the drumming, I kind of tr I try to bring some of that drumming in. I know uh, the other guys listen to bands from back then and try to, you know, try to bring some of that technique to the band. Uh, but I don't consider us an, an 80s or 90s band. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, I heard the term years ago. I, I consider us what I call American uh, power rock band. I don't, I don't know if there's a label to it. So um, I, I, that's the only way that I can answer that question. I hope I hope that that works. I know I dig it. I, just, I liked how you said yeah. it. I just didn't know if they were more of an influence and kind of you patterned yourself a little bit off of them. I do like the fact that you guys wanted to do stuff original because I mean, God knows there's enough cover bands out there to do everybody else's stuff. So it's just awesome that you guys do that. Well, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know it's and listen, you know I mean. I, you know, here in our town, there's not a lot of original. You know, again, I'm from we're, we're from Richmond, Virginia. You know, some of the bands that are from here that are, are pretty popular. Obviously, Lamb of God's from Richmond, um, and they're pretty heavy, as, as you know. And uh, oh yeah, Guar from here, Firehouse from here. Ones. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, there's you know there and and we've been fortunate enough, like you said, with the bands that we've been touring with. There's also been you know a couple other bands. There's a lot of original music out there. You know, and I just feel like if people just took the time to listen to it, but listen, we're, we're all creatures of habit. We all like to, when you go out to maybe a bar or to a show, you want to, you want to hear what you know. Um, so, you know, that's why cover bands are great, but I, I wanted to go a different route. I was going to, I was going to either live or die by the sword, which was playing original music. And so far it's paid off. And, you know, we have played with a lot of, um, you know, th those kind of acts and, uh, but, you know, we're always continuing to reinvent um, how we can, you know, really, really, let me back up. Really, our goal is to get our music out to the, to the masses. And how we do that, there's really no set path. Yeah. At least you got a good, you, you guys are touring with some people that will get your music heard. So, Yeah, we've been lucky. We, uh, we, uh, we've we toured on and off with Tesla for three years. And those were, those were the ones we really hit different markets. Uh, we toured in 
the Midwest with them, and then we toured up north with them, and now we just got back in February and we went south, which was good. And then the other bands, we just kind of filled in the other spots. So we, we've been up from um, Erie, Pennsylvania, all the way down to Charleston, South Carolina so far, and looking to grow. It's a different yeah. dichotomy of people all over the place there. So, Yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to hit as many as we can. So uh, with, with, with you guys, as we wrap up here, um, how do we, uh, how, how do we find your music videos, find your music, everything here? So again, you can find it if you just, if you, um, if you search, uh, Red Rain, R-E-D-R-E-I-G-N band, uh, you'll see videos. Uh, we have, uh, our title track, the, the song Red Rain, um, and that's one of our music videos. Uh, all the other vu- videos are, are pretty much live, but that one's a music video. Uh, again, you can go to Spotify, Apple Music, Google, Amazon, um, anything that, you know, any site that has downloadable music we're on. And again, redrainband.com is our, uh, is our uh, web page. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you uh, giving us a holler here and uh, being with us. And uh, thanks for joining us. Re- really appreciated the time, man. Well, I appreciate you giving us time to, uh, you know, to let us uh, sort of uh, advertise a little bit, and I, I appreciate everything y'all do. Thank you so much. Definitely, definitely. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, take care. Bye. Thank you. There they go, Red Rain, and uh, so Jay, uh, you're you're out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and your internet is 